Hey guys, NSC Schizo here with Game Grunts, coming at you with another Fallout 76 video. And in this episode, I wanted to touch on something that I don't actually have to do that often, um, and that's farming for excessive adhesive. Um, the first step you want to do is come over here to Sylvia Homestead. Um, it's off of Highway 81, off of the left side of the map. It's in the green zone. Um, if you have a camp, go ahead and throw it down here. Um, and, you know, just, just so you can fast travel back here. I, I find it useful to be able to do that. Um, also, I also find it useful if you guys leave a like on the video and hit the subscribe button. Um, but the reason that you're here at the farm is because um, two of the three ingredients that you need are going to be here. And that is wild corn. Um, okay, I just got to find some wild corn here. One of these, one of these definitely have it. All right, boom, wild corn. And then you want it, it, to, it's a whole field full of it. You'll, you'll find it no matter what. There'll probably be a bunch when you guys get here. And then venture over across the street here to this other little area. It's kind of like a little farm and you need, oh, there's no tattoes here. But this is a tattoo plant. This is where you get the tattoos. Okay, there's also some carrots here in case you guys were looking to start your own farm. And then once you've gotten those two ingredients, the tattoos and the corn, I want you guys to come over here to this little trailer um, right under this workbench and fast travel over there. If you don't have that discovered, then I guess you're just going to have to make the trip. It's a really short walk. Um, if you don't have it discovered, um, it's no big deal. Everything in this area is, you know, a fairly low level, so... Even if you're a level one, you shouldn't have a, a, you know, that hard of a hill to climb to get over this way, per se. This is, this is a low level area grind spot, in my opinion. All right, once you uh, spawn up, you want to come over here and make a beeline for the side of this truck. You see the side of this truck? You, um, you see this plant right here in the corner of this building? That's a mutt fruit plant. Um, I've already harvested all three plants that I'm showing you guys. That's why nothing's there. Because um, I wanted to um, kind of get a kickstart on the farm. Um, this is the way I like to farm adhesive. All right. You got mutt fruit. You got the corn there. Right. And you want to put the. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. It's just a. All right. And then you have the tato plants. All right. I'm going to have to deal with that. And it's like he's gonna pop up on me in the middle of this. You want to have a section for each, okay? I've got it kind of just started off here. I'll show you guys at the end of the video exactly what it looks like all done. But you just kind of want to bring those three plants over here and you know multiply them. The reason I like to use this workbench area is because I feel like things in this area, in particularly, spawn up uh, as far as food are concerned, actually pretty fast. So it's really easy. There it is to multiply. Um, those plants okay and so what you want to do is you just want to set it up so that most of these plants um, are in a straight line you know make sections make yourself a little farm get ready to hang out here you do the waves you know set yourself up if you, ha if you have fallout first set yourself up a scrap box and set yourself up um, a, a cooking station because you're gonna need those two things um, to make everything that you need for the excessive adhesive okay um, now the reason that you need all these things is because there is something that I think most players might not realize um, right off the bat when they're dealing with um, some of the stuff at the cooking station most people think well this is just for me you know it'll help you out with some of the resources that you need to um, so just make sure you, you kind of, you know, pick out where you want your spots to be. Um, the reason I say that is because if you have everything kind of lined up, what you want to do is you just kind of want to walk, you know, a straight line through each of the plants because not every single one of them is going to spawn. Only some of them are going to spawn, right? The more you have, obviously, the more that will spawn. But it's kind of like people, like some are going to have babies and you know some are not <laughs> so um for to start i kind of just start over here in this section and get my three plants going and then once i get enough 
uh, of the three plants each, then I'll, you know, kind of move it over into another area and then start up a section for each the corn, the taddo, and the mutt fruit. And then I'll multiply them over and over and over until I have the entire area filled with each of the three resources. Because you definitely want a lot when you're doing this. You don't want a couple if you're only using like, you know, two or three plants at a time, four or five plants, or just for instance, the plants that I have here uh, at, at this amount. I mean, it's you're gonna be here forever. You know, you, the more plants, the um, shorter your grind is gonna be. I mean, and you're standing here waiting for the plants to respawn anyway. It's something to do. Also, you know, the workbench defense is gonna pop up every now and then for you. And so you could just take um, all the random mobs that spawn up and take all their resources and scrap them down. It's a good way to farm at end game. I definitely recommend you do this inside of a solo lobby. If you don't have a solo lobby and you're planning on do this and doing this and you're a lower level player, you need to be aware of the risks of people coming to get you and raid you. Higher level players are looking for low level players that may not be, um, you know, understanding of the fact that they could be engaged with in PvP at these workbenches, all right? So the reason that you're uh, doing all that is so that you can come to the cooking station and come down to utilities and you want to get the vegetable starch, all right? You want to go ahead and create yourself some vegetable starch. As you can see here, I still need some mutt fruit. That's going to happen here in a second. Once you've done that, you know, you're gonna want to um, you know put put them in the scrap box but um, make sure you also set up some purified waters as you can see I have those there let me grab some mutt fruit here uh, I'll uh, and then I'll quickly show you guys exactly I set up those purified waters there because it's you know it's part of um, it's also uh, uh, one of the ingredients um, but I mean they they spawn up pretty quickly so it's not that big of a deal you see you see guys you see how fast these things spawn and I could just walk through again not all of them but some will have them and you, that's why you just want to put them in a straight line so you can just kind of keep track of which ones you've gone through which ones you haven't kind of mentally I've gone down this line already you know and then come over here gra grab yourself some waters you have the power generator there for the um, purified water and then you just come down here again to utilities like I said vegetable starch and then you create the vegetable starch and as you can see I don't have that many so I can't create that many it's I'm gonna run out pretty quickly here um, but once you've done that then you just um, are gonna go ahead and get off of uh, the table um, and then you come over here to this station uh, yeah what the heck am I doing uh, I was bad enough. Uh, scrap box. You just come over to the scrap box real quick, and then you just scrap it, and it becomes adhesive. And there you go. So you don't have to run around looking for, you know, duct tape, looking for glue bottles. You will have all the excessive adhesive that you need, pending that you spend enough time and have enough resources multiplied here. All right. If you find this video informational, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. Hit the subscribe button. My name is NSC Schizo for Game Grunts, and I'm signing out.